as you know I don't normally do political commentary on my videos it's usually you know Doctor Who stuff or just general silly stuff but today I felt I had to because there's so much that's been going on over the last couple of weeks in regard to politics I had to say something so first of all we'll start with the simple stuff Labour kicked out the Tories yes uh, although some people still voted for Suella Bradman to be their MP which I think is absolutely insane but so be it um but the first thing Keir Starmer did when he got in killed Suella Bradman's terrible Rwanda plan kicked out any hope of us ever leaving the ECHR thank you god because that would have been absolutely insane however he did say we wouldn't be re-entering the EU in his lifetime which Mm, okay, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't like the idea of that, but never mind. Next up, we have Biden. Oh, Biden. Looks like I adore Biden. I really do. You know, any person who is respected by Obama is respected by me, because Obama, Obama's a smart man. So, I absolutely adore Joe Biden. What I don't adore is the fact that he's still running for the president when he's clearly got a screw loose this guy is getting old and he's clearly losing his marbles he has some sort of dementia you can see he has right i mean he called president zelensky president putin and he called kamala harris vice president trump i mean come on now before you all say yay she's a trump fan no i'm not i'm not saying that the Democrats should withdraw from the race. I'm just saying he should. He should hand it over to Kamala or somebody else. Because that's... You, you can't go on like that. No one with that kind of mental capacity could be president. I'm sorry, they just can't. And then we move on to Trump, which... Uh, well, yeah, you can guess where this is going. Right. Trump has also said stupid things but oh no the, the 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 trump cultists all think he's a good guy he can say stupid things that's okay you know but nobody else can and then today or rather yesterday we have this it was either today or yesterday i can't remember we had this so-called assassination attempt now this was not an assassination attempt this was staged so he could get some attention because everyone's giving it to biden there is no damn well that was an assassination attempt and i'll tell you for why one the secret service didn't even pull him off stage when he was getting shot at and yet someone yelled out it's raining and they dragged him away please so the secret service clearly weren't doing their job he ducked like he knew it was coming yeah, that thing where there's a picture of him with that thing aiming towards his head is clearly a contrail. It's not a fucking bullet. Assassins do not make mistakes and they do not fuck up. Okay, if that had been a real assassin, Trump would be dead at their feet. For a start, the guy was a Trump supporter. He was a Trump nutter. With a gun, with an AR-15. He was a Trump supporter. A Trump supporter would no way, especially a cult Trump supporter, would no way attack his own. This was completely staged from the beginning. I don't usually do conspiracies. I don't usually do um, false flags. But this is neither. This was purely an attempt by Trump to take the attention off Biden. And it hasn't worked because we can see a mile away. Trump cultists need to understand that he is not going to be president ever again. You know, even if Biden steps down, Kamala or somebody will step into his place. They are not going anywhere. Trump is going somewhere. Hopefully to freaking jail. So far, we've got, for our choices as American president, we have a guy with dementia or a guy who's not only demented but is also a convicted criminal and a warmonger. And someone who stages fake attacks and the guy who incited the january 6 riots i would rather have a demented person in the white house than have trump i mean obviously you know having a demented person in the white house is not a good idea and he really should step down 
and give it to Kamala. But if that's the choice we get, that's the choice we get. Even Demented is more sane than Trump is. Okay, on to some more serious stuff. John Hunt. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. John, if you're listening to this, you are my deepest sympathies for you and your daughter. I, I am so sorry. I don't know what possessed the guy to do what he did, but controlling jealous men are not a new thing, you know. I'm a controlling boyfriend too, but thankfully they never tried to shoot me with a crossbow. Now, a lot of, the only problem I have with this whole thing is that a lot of people are coming on here using his wife and daughter's death for their agenda, which is sickening. Please stop. We've got feminists coming down and saying, Oh, all men are bad, we hate men, men, all men attack women, men are really bad. No, they're not. My husband is fantastic. My friend Bill is fantastic. Not all men are twats. Not all men are bad. Some of them are absolutely wonderful. And then, if we don't get that, we put off people outright lying and say, Oh, her boyfriend was Muslim, what do you expect? Her boyfriend was not Muslim! He was British, okay? That is completely, a complete and utter lie. But all of the anti-Muslim people, the racists and the bigots, have to get their two penny worth in, don't they? This was done by a British guy on a British family. That simple. It was a controlling boyfriend, nothing more. So all you bigots, shut the fuck up. All you feminists, likewise, shut the fuck up. Oh, and TERFs, please go away! I can't stand TERFs! Just take your bigotry elsewhere, can't you? Anyway, as I was saying, my condolences to John Hunt. That, just, it was awful. It was absolutely awful and I'm so sorry. And lastly, well done to Spain for winning the Euro. We didn't win it because, as usual, England is shite. And also commiserations to... Um, the person who advocated for us during COVID, our dear friend Novak Djokovic, I'm so sorry you lost. But you played well. You played absolutely fantastic, so no problems there. I can't believe you lost, but you did. But commiserations and well done. So there, that's basically my take on things today. Biden needs to step down. Trump needs to go away. He needs to stop faking attacks. And f my condolences to John Hunt. Feminists and turfs and anti-Muslims need to go away. And congratulations to Spain, commiserations to Novak. There, I think I've covered everything. I'll see you again soon. Bye.